your host, Jeremy Rodriguez, and I am here at the Belmont Outdoor Sports Club. And today, they will be hosting the 12th Annual Segway Race Competition. I am back here with last year's Segway Race Championship winner. How does it feel to be back here where you are? Oh yes, I'm very honored here. Just going back and seeing all the rookies. They they look pretty good, but I still think I'm the best, obviously. Okay. <laughs> uh, but what do you think about this course? Oh, yes, do you think it was rougher than last year's or easier? Obviously easy, because you know I'm the best, so I accomplished way harder than all that's happening right now. Yeah. But do you think it's rough? Uh, no, it doesn't look very rough except the very final part, the 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 bench. The bench. Um, well, they are just rookies, but I think they're giving it their all right now. But as you can see, they're trying to fix the ramp, so they obviously suck. Okay. And thank you for letting me interview you. Have fun in watching the race. Thank you, too. <sighs> Bud Light sucks. I am here with racer Max Homewater. How does it feel to be invited to this championship? I mean, it's pretty cool. I think the course is easy. I'm definitely better than that fool over there. And all these other You things. take that back, you loser. No, you. Break. Chill. I'm just Hey! I hey! can fix you hey! anytime, anywhere, any course, you Jeremy Rogers is strong. <laughs> Alright. What? So, do you think you'll win? Or do you I'm gonna beat these fools again, and I'm gonna beat this fool. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back interviewing these other idiots. Been having cravings? Let me introduce the all know stick cigarette. No smoke, no poisonous chemicals. Just the beautiful taste of smoke. I feel refreshed. You could too. Stick cigarettes. I am back here with Alexander Homewater. How does it feel to be racing against your brother, your older one too? Um, it feels like really scary. I don't trash. Shut up. Like, it's I'm really scared because they're my older brothers, and I feel like I I brother. my brother my. Not good with the words. I see. <laughs> Camera shy. <laughs> All right, I will be back with another contestant. A little camera shy, this one is. Sketchers, yeah! I'm going over to... What are you doing, artsy artist? More of a dance man and his Ferris. Uh, okay, well, I'm here with R.T. Ferris. Um, do you think you can beat these fooligans? Well, heck yeah, my incredible dancing skills, but like, I'm gonna rock them so hard. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like so cool. Like, you'll never believe it. Alright, um, well, I'll be back when these hooligans are racing. I love trees. Donate. To save the trees. I am here with the groundskeeper, Brock Belma. How does it feel to be the groundskeeper of this amazing tournament? It's a nice honor, and I, I really worked hard on this course, and hope it's good for the contestants this year. Yeah, it looks pretty rough, especially that ramp at the end. I would not want to be going on that. Yeah, it was my my finishing touch. Pretty good finishing touch, but you should take these contestants through the course. Yes, so we're going to start here at the starting line and make our way through Almost these cones over to this cone. Once we get to this cone, we're going to take a sharp turn all the way over to this cone over here. And then once you get past that cone, turn around, you're coming all the way back to this cone right over here. Can you stop it? All right, 
Then we're going to have a little weave, weave in and out through the cones, and to finish it off up through the ramp. Can you do it? Are you good? Well, you've got it. It's a little bit of a challenge. Are you okay? Are you okay? Sorry for the inconvenience after my little incident, but we're back, and I left the Segway back because those things can be very dangerous. And we will finish off going through this course. Yeah, so after you get on the ramp, you're going to turn around and ride this little hill all the way back to the first cone. No, to the, around the first uh, starting line, and do it again. Three times total, and the first one to finish the, pass the finish line after three times is the winner. I am here moments before the race, and the winner from last year will start, will start the race for them. Are you ready, you big fat noobs? Yes, I am! Yeah. Big fat noobs. Okay, we're going to start this off on a very clean race. No cheating or anything. No cheating like unprofessionals do, okay? Yes, Are you ready? Yes, you fool again! Ready, set, go! kids getting out of hand. With this all new electric spanker, it'll never happen again. This is the zapper. Press the button and whack. I am here with the winner of the 12th annual Segway race. How does it feel to be the winner? So I, it's like so rewarding because I like practice so much. Like, it feels so good to like finally win like for me and my family like like it, it, it was a fun experience to like 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 really fun and stuff and, and I fell once and the rest of those defaults fell like five times because of the best. What did you say about me? Get out of here! Like, oh, well, like, um, like I'm so cool. No you're and not that's you idiot! And those are the words from today's winner. And don't mess with Jeremy Rodriguez is the moral of this story. We are here at the podium with today's contestant. Whoa. This man can't shut his mouth. And here is our team. Trophy, man. Yeah, look at, ah. 
And that is all for today at the Belmont Outdoor Sports Complex at the 12th Annual Segway Race.